Hey, what's going on? I'm LaPrenta Sampson and I help health conscious consumers get rid of toxic products from their life so they can achieve true wellness. In today's video, we have a battle of the waters. We have Aquafina versus Nestle Pure Life. All right, if you have not seen any of these videos, you wanna make sure that you subscribe to this channel so you can get more tips, tricks, and tactics on how to boost and improve your overall wellness. Now, with these two waters, we are gonna test them specifically for three things. The first one is antioxidants, the second one is on alkalinity, and third is superior hydration. But you can't test them while they're in the bottle, right? So let's go ahead and get these poured out. First one we have here is Aquafina. And you see this one everywhere, no matter what. When you go into the store, it's like 24 packs, 96 packs, 140 packs of this are already sitting on the shelves. And they don't have to do much to promote it. You don't see a lot of commercials about Aquafina. You normally just see it out in stores. And um, right here we have Nestle Pure Life. It's a huge brand. And these are ones that you typically see when you get fast food, right? So anytime you go to a Burger King or something like that and you ask for a bottle of water to drink, this is most likely what they give you. And it makes sense. Um, this is one of the ones that a lot of people love and they say that it tastes great. And so it makes sense that these two are in a battle that you guys are asking for to see which one's better. Now, the first thing we're going to test is antioxidants. Now, why antioxidants? Like, is that even something that's in water? Yes, it can be in your water. And the reason why we do this is because we have all these things around us known as free radicals. These things are in the air that we breathe. They're in electronics, the cell phones, the Nintendo switches that we use, right? I know I'm dating myself here. And they're also in a lot of the foods that we eat. And these things, when they come into our body, they in our cells and they take away those free electrons, right? They take away the electrons in our cells and they end up creating oxidation and inflammation. And those two things are linked to every single health disease known to man. They're positively charged, that oxidation creates rust in the body, just like these bananas, how they're starting to rust, right? Um, and they create inflammation and ultimately lead to sickness, okay? So your antioxidants, they come in and they neutralize those free radicals. They are negatively charged and they reduce that inflammation, bring down that oxidation. It's essentially the fountain of youth. It's how you stay looking young forever. Kind of like these bananas, right? So our water should have antioxidants in it because it gives us the nutrients and actually pushes out those toxins, all right? So, we're gonna test that using an ORP meter. Now, ORP stands for oxidative reduction potential. And if we see a positive number here, that means it is oxidizing us. It's creating more rust and inflammation in the body. However, if we see a negative number, that means it is antioxidant and it's actually good for our health. So let me go ahead and test out Aquafina first. See what we get. All right, so I am seeing a 230 and it's slowly climbing, right? So that means this is oxidative, okay? That means it's creating more sickness in the body. Let's go ahead and check out Nestle Pure Life. Let's see how this one does. All right, so this one is showing a bit more. This is showing 270, right? So that means, actually it's going up. See, it's going up even higher. So it's getting into 300s, which is insane. Uh, as you see, the number is going up because of the air. Like that's proof that it's, the air is oxidizing too. But in this scenario, both of these are oxidizing. However, Aquafina is a little bit less. It's at 230-ish. So Aquafina would be the one that you would drink, right? So out of these two, they're both oxidating, they're both creating sickness, and Aquafina would be the better in this battle. Hold on. You're probably thinking, is there a water? Can a water actually show a negative number? Can it really be an antioxidant? And just for demonstration, just to show you that there can be, I'm gonna go ahead and pull up this water. And this water is weight loss water. That's what I'm gonna call it, all right? So, so many different names it goes by, but this is, uh, we'll call this magical weight loss water. And the reason why I say that is because when it pushes out that oxidation, when it pushes out that, those toxins, your body will actually start to lose weight. So let me go ahead and Test the ORP on this. Let's see what we get. What do you see? See a dash? Oh my gosh, a negative 813. So your oranges, which 
vitamin C, right? We're told to take in vitamin C when we're sick. It shows up on, as a negative 50. So this is like eating 16 oranges at one time, like by drinking them. No pulp needed. So just think about that. There is a water that is highly antioxidant and that's actually good for our body and our body deserves. And so I just want to share that with you. All right. So that's in the first test. Let's move on to that second test, which is alkalinity. Now, for alkalinity, we all know that cancer and sickness cannot survive in an alkaline environment, right? And so the water, the foods that we're eating, the things that we're consuming should be alkaline and not so much on the acidic side, all right? Now, the reason for this is because of our blood. Our blood carries the nutrients, it carries the good stuff and actually removes the toxins in our body, right? And so our blood must maintain on a pH of 7.36. And go a little bit above and below, but not too much, right? And so it's going to do this regardless. If you're taking in alkaline uh, foods, right, <laughs> then it's going to use the material that you consume to keep our blood balanced, okay? However, tobacco, alcohol, cigarettes, and pollution, artificial sweeteners are some of the biggest acidic foods that we consume that actually makes it a challenge for our body to stay in that alkaline environment. Now, if we continue eating that stuff, then it's going to keep our blood in a good shape. It's just going to take it from us. It's going to take it, start taking it from our skin. This is how we get eczema uh, and those types of things that come up. If we continue, it's going to take it from our bones, joints, and ligaments. This is why our bones are going to start to crack. It's how osteoporosis happens, right? And if we continue to let it happen over the years, it's going to start taking it from our brain. And that's how Alzheimer's happens. So, our water should be alkaline, all right? And so what I'm going to do is use these pH drops and if we see a red or orange or yellow, that means it is acidic and is eating the minerals, the electrolytes in our body that we need to stay in that balance. However, if we see a blue or purple or dark purple, dark purple, that means it is alkaline and once again, it's going to keep us in balance. So let's see what we get here. Alrighty, so doing this, we see that Aquafina is showing up acidic. It's showing up as a yellow, right? However, our Nestle Pure Life is showing up as a neutral. It's showing up as green, right? And so just to share, this is purified drinking water. And this one is purified water. The difference is what's in them, okay? And so as far as Aqu Aquafina goes, there's not a lot in this. This is truly purified water, right? However, this one has sodium bicarbonate, which is baking soda, magnesium sulfate, and calcium chloride, which are two additional salts. So that may be the reason why it's showing up green. In fact, give me one second. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna test the alkalinity of this water by blowing it, because I wanna see if it actually keeps the color that it is, or if it's actually gonna show us true colors of being a water that is purified. So check this out. There you go. So look at that. As you can see, it's actually on the same level as Aquafina. So when it comes to the alkalinity test, while we're being fooled by the Nestle Pure Life, it's actually the same. Because when you take that in, the other, the, the baking soda is stuff that's not good for us. It ultimately ends up becoming the same water. Oh, what about this middle one? I don't know. Let's see what happens when we put some drops in here. Wow, it shows up purple. Look at that. Now, I know it's fair, so let me go ahead and blow in this to see what happens. It doesn't change. Why? Because we're not adding chemicals in to change a state. This is actually made, this uh, weight loss water is made through electricity, which is pretty awesome. And uh, yeah, I'll share some more info with you about that if you're interested. However, let's go ahead and move on to our third test, which is superior hydration. All right, on for that third and final test, which is superior hydration. One of my favorites, 
just because I'm someone who has sickle cell anemia and all the time I've been trying out different waters, trying to find something that actually hydrates me. And so if you've experienced this before, I'm pretty sure you have, you would drink a ton of water, just guzzle it, right? And it would just come in and it'll just cook home. It'll just sit in your stomach and it won't do anything. You're like, all right, I just drank all this water. Why, why am I not, why is my mouth still dry? Why am I still feeling dehydrated, right? And it may be because of the size of the water, right? So what we're gonna do to test that, what size of the water? Yep, size of the water. So we're gonna use this tea bag to test that, right? And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our water and we're gonna try to make tea. So let's try out Aquafina. All right, the bag is wet <laughs> and it's not really making tea. Like, and you're probably thinking, of course, little Prentice is not making tea because you have to boil the water. Well, why are we boiling the water? We're boiling the water because it makes the water molecule so small that's actually able to go through the tea bag and make tea. And as we see, after we give it a few dunks, it actually does start to make a little bit of tea. All right. So let's go ahead and do the same thing with Nestle Pure Life over here. See what happens. See what we get. All right. So once again, it didn't. It doesn't. It's not really making a lot, but we bounce it up and down. We can start to get a little bit of hydration. Okay. So. To me, these actually look pretty even. I'm gonna go ahead and do it one more time with no bounce and just see what happens. And the reason why I'm doing that is because we shouldn't have to jump up and down in order to hydrate, all right? We shouldn't have to, all right, cool. Now that I got some water in me, let me do some jumping jacks. No, you shouldn't have to, shouldn't have to do that. All right, so let's go ahead and look at the Nestle Pure Life. And as you can see, they're both about even. They're both about the same when it comes to hydration. And you're probably thinking, Laprentis, this is crazy. Neither one of these waters, none of these waters can make tea. Well, let me, um. They're pretty even, right? So let me go ahead and pour this here. <laughs> we'll just call them even. And I'll just use this one, okay? And we'll go ahead and try this weight loss water that, was, that I've been sharing with you a little bit throughout the show, right? We'll go ahead and pour a little bit of this water and see what happens. Like, look at that, oh my goodness. So this is it's making tea, it's making like a dark, a rich tea, right? So this is very, very different than these other two waters. So think about this. If we're taking supplements, if we're cooking and we want to use just a little bit of ingredients, our water can not only help us hydrate because it's actually moving through our body better, it's getting absorbed better. It can actually bring that supplements, bring those nutrients, bring the seasoning that you put in your food in and make it more flavorful, more impactful and do the job that it's meant to do. So, just wanted to show you that real quick. So if you're curious on if this water could do it, it actually can. If I add just a little bit there, it brightens it up. And if I add just a little bit here, it does the same thing. So, ultimately, we tested these waters, right, for three things. Aquafina versus Nestle Pure Life. First one we tested was antioxidants. And we saw that they were both oxidizing, but Aquafina was just a little bit less so one point for Aquafina. Second test we did was on alkalinity. And while this Nestle Pure Life appeared to be good, once we actually tested it with some acidity, it ended up being the same. So I would say that's a tie in that aspect. Last but not least, we tested for superior hydration. And we saw that they both hydrated just like a little bit, like around, I don't know, 10% or so. And so I'd say that's a tie in that aspect. So if you ask me, Aquafina was a better one just for the oxidation, but it could go either way just based on how long that water is sitting in the bottle, right? When it actually gets to us. 
So it could either, they're both practically the same. That concludes this test. Let me know what you think in the comments below. And if you're curious on this weight loss water, if you're serious about improving your health, then I highly recommend you connect with me. I am available on my website, laprentissampson.com, and I have videos on Facebook. I have a whole page there where the videos are too hot for YouTube and you would love the stuff that I post there. So definitely look in the description below. I have a link that jumps you straight there. Check them out and learn more about not only this, but the other things that I test out that helps you improve your wellness. Think, let's think about this. Our body is 75% water. If we're not absorbing this stuff, there's probably, probably a reason why, right? And guess what? If we change our water, we may be able to change our world. So thanks for watching this video. Hope you had a great time, and I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Take care.